best and worst magnesium forms. Magnesium takes part in over 300 biochemical reactions, from energy production and nerve function to muscle recovery and blood pressure control. It also activates vitamin D and helps prevent calcium buildup in tissues, kidney stones, migraines, and sleep disturbances. Yet, almost everyone is deficient because most magnesium is stored inside cells, not in the blood, so standard blood tests can't detect the real level. Here's how the main forms compare. The worst, magnesium oxide. Very poor absorption, only about 4%. The rest passes straight through, often causing bloating or diarrhea. It's cheap and common in pharmacies, but practically useless for restoring magnesium levels. Low absorption group, magnesium sulfate, orotate, taurate, lactate. Absorption ranges from 10 to 25%. Sulfate acts mainly as a laxative. Orotate helps slightly with energy and DNA repair. Taurate supports the heart and nervous system. Lactate is gentler on the stomach, but still weak for deficiency correction. Three, moderate group, magnesium citrate and malate. Absorption, 30 to 40%. Citrate binds to oxalates, preventing kidney stones, supports blood pressure, and helps detoxification. Malate improves muscle energy and reduces chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia symptoms. Four, High performance group, magnesium threonate and glycinate. Threonate crosses the blood-brain barrier, improving focus, memory, and sleep quality. Glycinate is the most bioavailable form, absorbed up to 80%, doesn't irritate the stomach, reduces stress, tension, muscle cramps, and headaches, and enhances vitamin D efficiency. Dosage and timing. Take magnesium preferably in the evening. For maintenance, 400 milligrams per day. For therapeutic correction, up to 800 milligrams per day, divided into two doses. If you wake up with leg cramps or feel restless at night, that's your body's early sign of magnesium deficiency.